Today is Palm Sunday, when Jesus, the branch, rode into Jerusalem on a donkey. It just so happens that Jupiter, the king planet, is closest to Earth over this weekend. Astronomers call this event the opposition of Jupiter. Jupiter is also in the womb of Virgo, the Virgin, right now, and will be until the Feast of Trumpets, September 22nd, 23rd. Of course, many of you watching this video will already be aware of the buzz about the Revelation 12 sign, so it will be very interesting for you to know that on Palm Sunday 2017, Jupiter, the king planet, will be the brightest object in the sky next to the nearly full moon. The moon will be full on the beginning of Passover in the very next day or so. If it is clear skies in your area tonight, go outside, look for the moon to be right on top of the shoulder of Virgo, and you will see Jupiter in Virgo along with another bright star called Spica, which the ancients actually called Alzimac, or the branch. To add to the very intriguing alignments of these signs in the heavens, this is also the time when the Virginins, or meteor showers in the constellation of Virgo, are also taking place. The near full moon, Jupiter, and a meteor shower, all together in Virgo, definitely makes for a compelling convergence of astronomical events. Should we be paying attention? Sadly, because Satan loves to corrupt great truths God originally gave to us, very few people will actually pay attention to the signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars. The dragon has caused astrology to overshadow true signs in the heavens, causing men and women to focus on how the stars affect their own life, things, fleeting things like money and romance, when in fact these signs were meant to point us to the Messiah's life and his plan. Genesis and other scriptures clearly tell us that the Father gave us these signs for a reason. In a matter of about five months, Jupiter, the king planet, will exit the womb of Virgo. Take the opportunity to look up and view these signs if you have clear skies. Download the free program Stellarium to help you find these and other possible coming signs. Humbly pray about this and do your own research. You never know what you may discover in these last days. Remember, God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. What will he reveal to you?